OECS Director General Dr. Didicus Jews said the operation has ushered in a new era of health care proficiency within the region. Jews says the rise in chronic non-communicable diseases in the OECS requires holistic work across all strata of government. He believes the achievement by Antigua and Barbuda is testament to the vision of the remodeling needed to ensure affordable quality health care for citizens in the region. He advocates for the establishment of a national and regional organ donor database while acknowledging the benefits of kidney transplants compared with hemodialysis. Last week, Health Minister the Honorable Marvin Joseph said work is being done to strengthen the organization of health care within the region. We had a teleconference and in that teleconference we started the exercise of identifying what exists in each of the OECS countries that uh, uh, have developed at a higher level at this time. So there is tremendous strong coordination between the states and the OECS. Uh, Antigua and Barbuda has basically been um, accepted as the country of excellence for health. And so uh, we are committed to meeting the expectations of our, um, our fellow uh, OECS partners. Two kidney operations were performed at the Mount St. John's Medical Center last week by a team consisting of surgeons, anesthetists, and specialist nurses. I am Jamie J. Roche reporting for ABS News.